Today, we are diving into an unfolding story in Johannesburg that's raising questions about immigration, informal business practices, and public health concerns. The incident involves an operation conducted by members of Operation Dujula, who uncovered a bakery allegedly staffed by undocumented workers Police from Zimbabwe Minister and Malawi. Chonu this bakery, which has been producing baked goods like buns and cookies, is said to distribute its products Sakani to vendors, Stadium. mostly this of Pakistani and Somali origin, who reportedly operate without proper permits. And community While this might sound like a straightforward crime, case of an unregistered business, it speaks to much larger issues surrounding informal trade, economic video, pressures, and social tensions that affect MCA, many communities across South Africa. Now, let's step back for a moment to get a sense of the historical and social context behind the story. South Africa has long grappled with challenges around immigration and employment. Due to its relatively advanced economy in the region, the country has become a destination for people seeking better work opportunities from across Africa, particularly from neighboring countries where economic hardships are severe. Over the years, people from Zimbabwe, Malawi, Mozambique, and other countries have entered South Africa both legally and through undocumented means, finding employment opportunities, often in informal sectors. While many of these individuals are hardworking and contribute to the economy, there are growing concerns among local communities about the impacts of undocumented workers on employment, wages, and public safety. Operation Dujila, the organization central to this recent discovery, is part of a growing wave of grassroots groups that have taken it upon themselves to address these concerns. Initially formed to advocate for local jobs and security, Operation Jujula is known for its firm stance on undocumented immigration and unregulated businesses. They argue that these practices lead to unfair competition for local workers and legal businesses, especially those complying with regulations that ensure safe, hygienic, and lawful practices. The group claims that the presence of undocumented foreign nationals operating in unregistered businesses creates an unregulated economy that strains resources, creates health risks, and contributes to rising tensions in affected communities. In the case of the bakery in Johannesburg, members of Operation Dujula allege that the establishment forms part of a larger, informal network that supplies baked goods to street vendors. This discovery points to how some businesses bypass official health and safety standards, possibly operating outside labor and immigration regulations. Such establishments, Critics argue not only undermine local businesses but also pose potential risks to public health, especially if they lack the proper food safety and hygiene practices required by South African law. The thought of consuming goods prepared in an unregulated environment is concerning to many, as these businesses may not undergo regular inspections to ensure that they meet acceptable health standards. While the focus of Operation Dujula's concerns has largely been on public health and legality, there's also an economic angle to consider. By operating outside the formal economy, these informal businesses may avoid paying taxes, creating a situation where registered businesses that comply with tax obligations and pay their workers in line with South African labor laws find it difficult to compete. This dynamic can contribute to job scarcity, particularly for South Africans looking for work in lower-paying positions in sectors like retail and food production. Many argue that without stronger oversight and stricter enforcement, this unregulated economy could continue growing, impacting opportunities for local job seekers and depriving the state of valuable tax revenue. The case has also highlighted broader issues around law enforcement and the regulation of informal markets in South Africa. Local authorities and law enforcement agencies have reportedly begun investigating the operation's reach, examining whether any laws concerning business practices, labor, or immigration have been violated. The complexity of this case is emblematic of the broader challenge, how to enforce regulations in a vast and diverse informal sector, where thousands of unregistered businesses operate without oversight. Authorities have conducted inspections at the bakery, but no formal statement has been made regarding arrests or whether the bakery will be shut down immediately.
It appears that immigration officials have also been called in to confirm the legal status of the workers involved, but the process is ongoing, and further action is likely in the coming days. This incident has already sparked debate on a national level, with various community groups and activists weighing in on the issue. Some advocate for stricter immigration controls and more robust regulations to prevent undocumented workers from being hired in informal businesses. They argue that without such measures, local citizens will continue to feel the economic and social pressures associated with unregulated immigration. Others, however, stress that a balanced approach is necessary, one that acknowledges the economic contributions of foreign nationals and informal businesses while ensuring that health and safety standards are upheld. These ongoing tensions have prompted many to ask what could or should be done to address these challenges effectively. Some propose a more integrated approach, where informal businesses could be incentivized to register and comply with health and safety regulations, helping them enter the formal economy. Others suggest that immigration policies should be more clearly defined and enforced to prevent undocumented workers from entering sectors that should be reserved for local workers. Additionally, there is a call for local law enforcement and municipal authorities to improve their capacity for monitoring and inspecting businesses to ensure compliance with national standards. As the investigations continue, community leaders are emphasizing the importance of fair and lawful business practices. Many hope that this situation will bring attention to the need for clearer policies that support legal local businesses while also addressing the challenges posed by informal and unregulated enterprises. At the heart of these discussions is a desire for accountability, transparency, and a more stable and secure environment for both local citizens and migrant workers who contribute to the economy. As we wrap up today's video, this story reflects a complex set of issues that reach beyond just one bakery or one group. It underscores the broader struggle to find a balance between economic opportunity, social stability, and public health. South Africa, like many countries around the world, continues to grapple with the realities of globalization, migration, and the informal economy. What do you think about the issue of informal businesses and undocumented workers? Do you believe stricter regulations would help, or could they potentially do more harm than good? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to stay updated on more topics like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.